Hello and welcome back. In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, make uh, make the uh, a person's uh, skin smoother and uh, cleaner in a photo. Um, there's a real simple way to do this. That I'm going to show you. And uh, just to get started, I'm also going to show you how to make uh, the, some images look a little bit better. You got to be a little careful with this, but uh, I do this to pretty much every image that I have. And since I'm just starting out right now with my uh, background layer. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to affect the background layer. And you do that by, instead of going to your layers and uh, making adjustment layers, you can just go up to your uh, toolbar up at the top here and go to uh, Image, down to Adjustments. And I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation first. And I'm going to go ahead and saturate it up to about, probably around 28 or 30 or so. And I'm going to, um, then you can see that her skin tone's a little bit red, so I'm going to just move this slider uh, closer to the dark blue to get rid of some of that, um, some of that red color. If she starts to turn green, you can go up to your master here and go down to greens, and you can also move that one to the right a little bit, and then uh, it should look pretty good. Um, then we'll press OK. Then the next thing that we're going to do is go up to image. We're going to go to adjustments again, and we're going to go to um, uh, curves. And then we're going to point, a point in the middle, a point in the top, and a point in the bottom. Uh, usually I move this uh, bottom point pretty far down into the left to make a pretty strong lighting effect, but since I'm trying to make this girl's skin look smooth for you guys and show you the difference, I'm only going to do it a little bit this time. So maybe something about like that. And then uh, the middle one, I'm going to go up into the right. Now, the highlights, or those are midtones, rather. And the, the top one, I'm going to bring up into the right. And that's going to bring out the highlights, like in the face here. And now you can see that this image is already looking quite a bit better. Uh, I'll just show you in the history that we started uh, here, and now we're here. And, uh, and that's, that's a very good thing to know how to do. Um, but this tutorial is about making her skin look smooth, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. The first thing that we want to do is take our background layer and copy it just by dragging it into the new layer area. And uh, we're just going to, that's fine to just leave it uh, called background layer. Uh, the next thing that uh, we want to do is go up to filter, down to Gaussian blur, uh, which is under blur. And uh, we're going to move this slider over until you almost can't tell that this is a person. Maybe that's a little too much. Let's do about 50. Remember that number. And we'll press cancel. The next thing that you want to do is go to um, filter, up at the top, go down to other, and go to high pass. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in that number, 50 or maybe 55. Um, the bigger the number there, the, sm the, the more um, detail it's going to take away from the skin. That's how you make it smoother. So. Uh, keep that in mind uh, for later, and you can uh, you can kind of play around with it too, um, and that's fine. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that we uh, want to do is go back up to filter, go down to blur, and go to Gaussian blur, and we're gonna do about probably about one third um, of what we had. So let's go and do like maybe 16 pixels or so. We'll press OK, and then um, we're gonna. The next thing that we do is we go up to Image um, Adjustments, and then Invert. And then uh, after that, we go to our uh, our copied layer here, and we change our uh, opacity setting uh, to um, Overlay. And then. Uh, you might not be able to tell, but that's certainly done a lot already, and I'll, I'll prove it to you. Um, put a, Go ahead and click this mask to add a, a mask to that layer, and you can uh, then take a brush um, or, or an eraser, but if you take a, blush, uh, a brush and uh, have the black brush on there, you can go over the face and, and see how much that, that changed. And I'll press Control-Z to, to put it back to um, how, how much sharper it got. As you can see, that's the change that it did. But what you might uh, consider doing is, uh, since it also did that to the sky and to the uh, dandelion, taking the brush and going over the sky. Um, so just kind of, you know, go real. I'll go real quick, but 
certainly around the face here you would want to take your time and you can see the difference that that's making in the sky So um, that's what we've done so far, and that, that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, as you can see, there's some blemishes down here. You can uh, <clears throat> uh, make a new layer if you want, and you can get rid of those by uh, <clears throat> selecting your marquee tool, making an elliptical marquee, and uh, going over the spot that has a blemish, and then make sure that uh, you are... Um, go ahead and go down to Fill... Um, down to content aware and press OK uh, and that's that's warning me and I realized as I was doing this that that was going to happen um, if you're gonna do it this way you need to use the uh, the clone stamp brush because you can select from all layers with the content aware you have to use the current layer so you would have to either uh, copy this background layer and work from that or you uh, or you just um, change the background layer, but I don't like to change a layer so that you can't fix it later. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, make a real soft brush and we'll uh, make it take a sample from pretty close to the area with our clone stamp, which uh, we just got right over here in the toolbar, and we'll just go over it and uh, that'll get rid of our blemishes. And I'll just do it um, a couple times to get rid of all of them. And uh, that's looking quite a bit better already. So I'll go ahead and just show you uh, what we've done. Um, we came from this, and we ended uh, with this. And uh, that's a pretty simple way to do it, and uh, you can certainly do that at pretty much any skill level. So um, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, thanks again.